First, the 11 p.m. update on the tropics is in and the first alert weather team watching a system that could impact our weekend weather. We get the very latest from Chief Meteorologist Steve Weigel. Steve, any changes? Uh, yes, there are some changes, and I talked about this earlier. There has been a shift in the track to the south, a slight shift, and a little bit of a change in the intensity forecast. It is still a potential tropical storm or cyclone, uh, number nine, as it brings some heavy rainfall across the Caribbean now, the Leeward and the Windward Islands. Uh, there is a reference point. There's Barbados there, St. Lucia. Uh, they're seeing some very heavy rain as the convection is uh, outrunning what is trying to develop into the center of circulation, which is uh, fairly close to Barbados, so a fairly far south track for this one. Uh, but um, the, what we're watching here is for that low-level center to develop overnight or early tomorrow. The most likely area would be under the convective activity that is moving through the islands right now. Here's the new forecast track. So it has been adjusted from the initial position uh, moving across uh, Guadalupe or very close to it and just north of Martinique, bringing it in across uh, Hispaniola on Thursday. This is, uh, this is a, a, a track that uh, historically has torn apart hurricanes and developing tropical storms. We have mountain peaks upwards of 10,000 feet in this area that tear it, just disrupt the whole wind field. If it does survive, it will move into some very warm waters, eventually into the Florida Straits. There's Friday 8 p.m. It does slow down over this very warm water, too. And the intensity forecast starts to bump up a little bit to 65 miles an hour. So there's Saturday 8 p.m. And then into Sunday uh, 6 p.m. working in across, I should say 8 p.m., working in uh, closer to Tampa and Orlando. Now there's an error cone that includes the entire peninsula of Florida. And the computer model tracks are not in great agreement out day four and day five. Hundreds of miles uh, stretching across some of the better models here. So there's still large uncertainties. And we may actually not know until late Wednesday or Thursday if it crosses the mountain peaks of Hispaniola what this means for our weather here. But on the current intensity and track. Here's what it looks like Saturday. The outer bands rain squalls arrive uh, into the morning and early afternoon. Sunday gusty winds and rain squalls could be tropical storm force and then we're looking at Monday improving weather conditions during the day. Huge uncertainties here for the weekend forecast still and it may be another couple of days before we have a good handle on this.